dharma is mistranslated as religion, as uh, spiritual path, etc., etc. We have the word parampara and pant, which better describe religious traditions. And dharma has lots of scriptural definitions, but I want to contemporize it so that not only do we feel it up here, we feel it here, we recognize it. If, um, imagine there was an apple here. Now, an apple is a, a fruit, and at a particular point in time, it changes color. Our eyes have got rods and cones which can detect a change in color. When it's ready to eat, the taste of its flesh is really wholesome for us. Our tongue finds anand in it. So there's a dialogue going on, there's a communication going on. Dogs see in monochrome, so they can't see when an apple is ready for consumption. That dialogue is going on between every single element of creation. There is a language, there's a communication. And when you eat an apple, the seeds inside have got this little black coating which withstands hydrochloric acid, which is what we have in our stomachs. So somewhere, somebody some process architected an apple to be something that's good for us to eat. And part of the bigger process, we distribute seeds so that it's multiplying and it replenishes itself. That language which is spoken between every single part of creation is the language of Dharma. It's a harmony. It's a rhythm. It's a coexistence whereby everything has a purpose. It derives satisfaction from its purpose and then it replenishes itself. Every single piece of creation is created as a dharmic being. Creation is a dharmic event.